So as you know, our programs are called Science in a Box, Engineering in a Box, Maths in a Box. So the first thing everybody gets when they're going to do a program is the box. So here's an example of our taster lesson for Engineering in a Box. So this box of goodies is just for uh, one, one week's lesson or one and a half hour workshop. Um, if you're doing the full Engineering in a Box program, which is 10 weeks, we send a much bigger box of fun stuff straight to the school, similarly for science. Uh, what else do you get in your kit when you're starting engineering in a box? You get a memory stick which contains a very short presentation uh, for each lesson that you're doing which is only about 10 slides and it's a lot of visuals not a lot of text. It's really uh, designed to be a guide for you to work your way through the class rather than something you have to show the kids. Um, also on the memory stick we've got a few fun and interesting videos for whatever subject your program is in. Um, Again, we've downloaded them in case the school doesn't have internet. You can use them, but if you find a better video or uh, you have one from your company, for example, feel free to swap it into the lesson if it's appropriate to the content. Uh, so the third thing you get is a folder for your lesson plans. Okay. You get a lesson plan that is really a guide for your time management, a quick view in the classroom of what happens for example, the first five minutes, introduce yourself, the introduction to engineering, um, the next 10 minutes, what's electronic engineering all about, then the next 10 minutes are all about activity one. So really it just breaks everything down for you in a really simple and quick format to keep you on track to stay in the classroom for the correct amount of time. Uh, in your box or in your folder, you'll also get basically the list of materials for each lesson. So again, it'll detail what exactly you use for each activity per box, per group of kids, or per child, whichever is appropriate. And finally, you get a sheet of super cool stickers for science or engineering or maths, again, whatever the subject is, STEAM education stickers that you can give out to the kids at the end as a reward. So there's only two more things to remember. One is that even after you've done the training, either on video or in person with us in UCC or in Trinity, for example, um, you might want to spend a half an hour to an hour the week before the lesson familiarizing yourself with the content and the activities to make sure you know how to do the activities so when the kids ask you, you know how to direct them better. Um, and the second thing, more importantly, is to have fun yourself. The kids respond to enthusiasm and excitement about a subject and as soon as you get into doing an activity the kids will ask you questions. They're really interested in finding out all about your subject and your job and careers in that area. So don't be afraid to tell them stories, to engage, they'll ask crazy questions. Um, even if you're nervous, as soon as you get into the activities you'll just relax and go with it. Um, so overall, I hope you have a great time co-teaching. Uh, the teachers will be a really great help to you. Um, any qu other questions you have, you can come back to us in STEAM Education. Um, but other than that, go out there, have fun with the kids and inspire the next generation.